One of the most popular editing techniques that I've found is to use glitch effects in your transitions and titles and just for effects. So today I'm going to be showing you how to create those glitch glitch. Okay, I think it's done. Let's do this. Hey, I'm JB and I'm here to help you level up your editing game. So let's get started on this tutorial for easy glitch effects. We're going to take two shots side by side. We're going to add an adjustment layer. We're going to make that about 15 frames long, nine on the left clip, six on the right. We're going to duplicate this on layers two and three. On the first layer, we're going to add the primary glitch, which is we're going to use our wave warp tool. So change the wave type to noise, direction to zero, wave height to minus 250, and wave width to 7,500. And the final one, we're going to do pinning to all edges. Now let's cut out two frames here, two frames here, frame here. Uh, so we have six across the transition, but it will give us a stuttering effect in and out. But this is a little too clean. So on the second layer, we're going to add our VR digital glitch to make it a little more messy. You don't have to change any of the settings, but let's make this only six frames across the transition. And then the third layer, we're going to add some chromatic aberration to kind of pull some more colors apart here, but no other changes. So the final touch, let's add in some sound effects to really seal the effect. And here it is. And there we go, a quick customized glitch transition. And if you want to, you can copy paste this whole thing onto another transition pretty simply. Now, what if we wanted to do this just on the text that is over top of video? We just want the text to be glitching. Well, here's how you do that. All you have to do is just create the text slide, place the glitch adjustment layers over the beginning of it, then right click and nest everything together. Now it will only glitch the text, but not the rest of it. And it really is that simple. And it's a lot of fun just playing around with all the different settings in there. But thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already. And if you got an editor or friend out there that you know would enjoy this, please send it to them as well. But thanks for watching.